All right, so I don't think in a million years we would have guessed that the banner would be... Is this a part two to summer? Are we getting an additional summer unit this year? I'm thinking that summer... <laughs> summer Margaret, is it not? Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Dude, here today, uh, we, got, we got Summer Margaret patch notes. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, helps out a ton. Uh, let's go through this together and see uh, what this is. There's no way this is a summer update, is it? Appearance of a character, seasonal pickup. It is Summer Margaret. Nah. Another Margaret. Think about that. You had Ludocio, which was basically a Margaret, if you will. We'll consider it just because it's, you know, um, same team. I don't even know what to say here. I don't I don't even know what to say here. They're just they're they're uh can't 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 release Neurobasta, but we can we can milk Margaret as much as we as, as much as we wanted, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Again, it's it's a cool character regardless, but how many how many uh Ludos, Margarets, or whatever do we need? But uh, we'll go through the kit here in a second. I'm gonna try to translate this real quick on my my phone here. There we go. Um let's see. So I, I'm genuinely curious. I, I am genuinely curious. Let's see. Um the outfit is holy hell. Wow. I'm rocking with a look, though. I'm rocking with a look there. Okay, we have the passive here. I'll check that in a second. I'm worried about the banner. Um, it's not. It's it's not bad. Calm down. Calm down. Listen, I'm going to explain why it's not bad. People get so irritated. Give me a second. Let me explain. I right, right, chill, chill, chill. Number one, no one has this really. <laughs> no one, no one summoned on this. So one non-summoned unit, two non-summoned unit, three non-summoned unit, four non-summoned unit. Potentially, you didn't summon for these four characters. Most likely, right? Even this, you can consider five characters, right? So collection is going crazy. This is pretty good still, regardless of anything. Uh, this character is really good, actually. Um, this is, I don't have it, so maybe you don't also. And I've pulled how many banners? How many banners have I pulled on? I still don't have that stupid thing. Um, not, not, that, not that Hawk or Oslo is stupid. Not that Hawk or Oslo is stupid, right? But that, that stupid unit. Um, and then this is just terrible. Uh, this is collection, so very collection banner not that you actually need it but a lot of people will invest into this just to pull units like five units you're missing it's kind of crazy right we, we these are old banners we skipped because of the festival being right after it right so it's pretty good on that aspect uh red margaret though let's see the uh the translations i'm gonna try my best here to get this proper so do realize that now do realize that now let me uh let me open this up here so increases the base stats of each goddess ally participating in the battle by 10%. And every time you use a buff skill, the damage dealt by goddess ally is increased. What? By 15% in increments up to a maximum of 45%. And then also recovers 20%. 20% of maximum HP for allies. What? What? Wait a second, what? Also recovers 20% of HP. Um, there's an extension here of allies whose debuff effect has been removed by your skill. <laughs> Wait a second, what? That's actually kind of crazy. Let's see, yeah. Realize that this is not a universal unit also. Keep that in mind. It's a, it's a goddess unit only. It's only for goddess allies, okay? So don't think this is going to work like the other Margaret. The other Margaret's a universal passive. Uh, or like a buff card, if you will. This is for only goddesses, so keep that in mind, right? But damn, dude, that's that passive is nuts. Is she a Nidhogg unit? One buff skill, which is big. Second, this passive is nuts. Is it not or am I high? It could be late. It could be late at night. That's why. Uh, the grace, you already know the grace. I don't have to explain that. We have fruit shower. Yeah, fruit shower because it's, it's uh, it looks like an orange in the image. Unlocks a single enemy stance, so cancel stance, and deals damage equal to five hundred percent. And she has a cancel stance card. Wow. Okay. Next up, we have memory of the summer. We have applies forty percent uh, damage reduction effect and fifteen percent attack related stats ability uh, stats ability. Okay. Uh, increases the effect to all enemies uh, for three turns. Removes debuffs. Um, and increases attack related ability by 15% for three turns. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and then ultimate, you know what the ultimate, so that's there. Dude, is, is she not broken or am I high? <laughs> Dude, can, does that mean, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's a pretty good passive. That's, that's a pretty good passive. I, I think she's a Nidhogg unit, dog. I, I I genuinely think she's a Nidhogg unit. Wow. You're reading that? Okay, okay, listen. 
you let me know in the, in the comments down below. I could be definitely really wrong here. Um, I don't farm yet hog like that, so I don't exactly know if this is the needed unit, but I have been like taking a look into it recently uh, to do it. So I think that this could be a very powerful unit for that. So keep that in mind. That's just my 10 cents early on. If again, I'm wrong, I'm, I'm making it clear that I don't have the 100% expertise, but I think that we're in a good area here. I genuinely do think we're in a good area. Wow. Um, new PVP content, chaos battle is being held. You can enter from the bottom right of the tavern, um, PVP uh, fight festival. It's gonna go over here. This is the button here. How to proceed, 5,000, right? Okay, these points have to be acquired. In this fight festival chaos battle, there are restrictions on team formation and each character is given a cost. It is necessary to make sure that the total cost of the main character does not exceed the team formation limit. Oh, oh, that's sick, wait a second. So you can exceed 5,000 by taking Margaret. You, so it's like a, fest, a festival unit may only be, be like that much. So you have to like build a team around like that. Wow, you only participate uh, in the rankings for two hours on this. Okay, okay. Uh, victory points and battle record will not change. Chaos participation rewards looks like this. If you participate in chaos battle and you can get up to three times regardless of when you win or lose. What the fudge? If you get top 5%, you get 50 gems? What? Wait a second, no way. Ranking rewards will be sent there. Additional rank rewards can be received in addition to existing rewards. No way. So it's on top of what you already get paid out, you get an additional payout for this chaos reward. Wow. Wow. This update's like two W's back to back. People just summoned for the Demon King. How are they even going to make it for her? Anniversary special login event? Ah, uh, I told you so. Um, let's see. There is a very high chance you have a collab soon. Okay? Whenever they kick up a login, I, we fact checked this hundreds of times. You can, you can fact check me if you want. And it's like right before something that we know is supposed to come out. It probably comes out. So there's a very high chance you do get a collaboration soon. Right? Because now this is the Nidhogg unit. So my whole point of maybe seeing a Nidhogg unit soon is there. This is the Nidhogg unit. You, you seeing that? There, there is no way that it's not going to be good, bro. Like genuinely, I, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I want to, I want to wait till I, uh, I don't, I don't want to like push that as a point so heavy in this video. But let's see, multi here, you are pending here. Global 3.5 anniversary lucky balloon event. Oh, we actually have a cool event here. It's new. That's sick. All right, wish keys. So a bunch more wish keys finally. Um, yeah, more wish keys. So that's pretty cool. I was gonna say like, doesn't the wish key event end? But no, it doesn't end yet. Uh, we have this also, some more wish keys here, some of the rewards. The last lucky box, to, uh, lucky box or lucky bag token event is there, which is also pretty cool. It's a firework event. We have this like very, very often. So nothing too special. Um, two pendants, five of these, ten of those. So pretty decent rewards. Ooh, final boss again. I don't know. They, they are they are cooking, bro. They are actually cooking. Okay, more gems. So. Not bad. I, again, I told you that the gem income has been coming up like recently pretty well, and it has. You, you now have this, right? So instead of Labyrinth this time, you're going to get your 50 gems from that new mode. So every single month, you're getting an additional 50 gems because of one event, right? About, about 50 gems. So it is, it is pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, more wish box keys again. Uh, the cards are also here. So yeah, I actually kind of want to farm this event, uh, which is pretty cool. The daily thing will change over here. So less gems there. Uh, but again, we, we knew that was going to happen. Uh, fight festival uh, rank event also um, victory box event also gonna change we can do that too um, what else there's boosted dailies also what how many gems are in this update bro I don't even know I don't even know is this the thing right uh, during the event the rewards can be obtained checking the daily missions will increase so it's three gems now so it, it is it is the uh, yeah it is the buff um, that's pretty cool. You have this also, the donation uh, event also. Uh, we already got that on Global. Um, what is this? Season 2 characters added. Margaret Ludosia will be added. Huh. Details on how this will be, will be uh, given to you the next uh, thing. We have her buff for the 29th to the 23rd. So this character will also be buffed. Huh. That's pretty cool. And then also put an end time over here for this. Bro. Bro. Are they not cooking? Is this update not a W in my opinion? Or in your opinion? I don't know. Look at the artwork of the character. Dude. I, I might summon. I genuinely might summon. Um, I don't know, dude. So I, I do think this is a very powerful character. And I think this is a Nidhogg character. I genuinely do. Um, you'll have to... So, like, you'll have to swap up the team, though, right? Because Freya, Mayel, 
um who do you who do you replace you have to, you have, to have replace the unit right because margaret is not always the unit being run uh it's definitely not a margaret team margaret was like original goddess team right so you'll have to like swap up the whole team to make this work but it, she she looks like a very powerful character like you read the passive like that's that's very powerful so i do think there is so much potential with this actual update um the banner itself isn't bad either again collection like that's this is like pure box uh cc yes no characters like screaming broken but it's pure box cc correct i'd say this is the good character this is the good character um yeah you can argue the other ones but nah nah um these are definitely just collection dog like again on my account my free-to-play account right if i were to summon for this banner i don't have this 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 and i think i still don't have this i actually have no idea but that, and i don't have this so like half of the banner any any ssr i get other than this one is good or and this one too other than that everything is good so for me that's like value just because i'm missing every single freaking unit basically um but for you it could be different if you have most of those units this is like a terrible banner to uh, summon for it's purely collection purely collection all right so i don't know i don't know you let me know what you think boys you let me know what you think with that being said i'll catch you the next one have fun stay safe peace and enjoy um i don't even know this update has so many gems 50 gems 42 gems uh 14 gems so we're, we're at 100 plus gems so they cooked they cooked